This is going to be a controversial next six minutes of video for some of you, but hear me out and let's have a lively conversation about the topic in the comments below. The question I hear a lot that inspired this insight goes something like this. If I can't draw to scale in Procreate, and if I can't even export files to CAD, then how can it be such a great app for architects and designers? When I first started using Procreate, I had kind of the same opinion. My sole purpose was to make faster, more revisable renderings just to save my business. But as I was doing that, I was unwittingly inventing techniques I could use to design, draft, detail, and render in Procreate 2. And thank goodness I was, because when I got a call one day from a client of mine saying that the rapper Swizz Beats had asked them to come up with a design for an outdoor art walk to be located on the coast of the Red Sea, and asking if I could stop what I was doing and help them come up with a design in just three days, well, I was ready to give those techniques a try. Now, I wasn't too worried because this was something I was known for in my design consulting career. Coming in early on big conceptual projects like this, generating design options as an architect, then rendering those options as a renderer, saving the client time and money in theory, and hopefully winning them the job. But this was a little different in that I was the only one on the team working directly with the partner in charge without any in-house people to back me up or develop the project further in CAD. This meant that on this project in particular, I had to organize and manage all the drawings of existing conditions, plus make image boards, generate a couple of schemes for the project, and draw up all my ideas by myself. Again, not something I was unaccustomed to when I had enough time, but in this case, all I had was an iPad to work on. So I sat down in front of my iPad and started to draw. And by the way, you're watching the video replay of that process. And it wasn't long before I realized I needed a way to scale the different site plans I was working with, both the site plans that pertain to this project and the plans of other projects around the world that I was using to give scale and context to this one. And that I needed a way to do all of that inside the small screen of the iPad on Procreate. And being that I had some experience importing images into Procreate, then manipulating them to adjust their size, it occurred to me that I could literally scan some of my old imperial and metric scales and import them into my drawings on their own layers, and use them exactly as they were intended to be used. And before you know it, I had created a framework for drawing to scale in Procreate that any architect or designer could use. The central principle being that so long as the canvases one was working on were created at 300 dpi, and so long as any ready-made design grids or scale rulers imported into the canvas were also created at 300 dpi, then any new plan, no matter what physical size or how many dpi it was, could also be imported into that canvas, then scaled up or down to match the scale rulers. And shortly afterward, I realized that the canvases I started with should not only be created at 300 dpi, but they could also be created in standard paper sizes like 11 by 17, 18 by 24, or A2 and A3, so that people involved with projects, no matter where in the world they lived or what scales they use, could either import the drawings or print the drawings out, knowing they would remain in scale relative to the analog grids and scale rulers some of us still use. My results include the many examples of plans, elevations, sections, and details that I've created in Procreate over all these years. But many of my UCLA students and YouTube followers have shared their results with me as well, including this pedestrian bridge by Nicola Pecci, who lives and works in Italy. And here's a partial section and elevation of that same bridge designed by Nicola Pecci. So by taking advantage of Procreate's unique combination of pencil interface and digital editing tools, I was able to invent a framework for drawing to scale in Procreate, allowing you and any future generations of designers to design, draft, detail and render smarter and faster with Procreate than with pencil on paper. Which brings us to insight number two, how Procreate helps you get real billable work done. Because what's the point of any of this if it doesn't actually help you at work? So I made the decision to go with Procreate for my architectural practice as well, improving the grid templates, FF&E templates, and scale rulers I had made, and even creating some additional custom brushes for architects and making some stencils to help with the day-to-day -day tasks of designers. As a result, my partner and I were able to use Procreate to develop the design for this house every step of the way, from image boards to early napkin sketches to hand dimension plans, sections, and elevations. We then handed off our drafted and hand dimension plans to a local architect who finished the construction drawings in CAD and the house is now 90% done and waiting for a certificate of occupancy. The design drawings we prepared in Procreate included 
site plan studies that took advantage of the ability to hold a rat's nest of different maps and site plans in multiple layers and to make all those layers the same scale so we could test the impact of our design options on a variety of site conditions. And 24 by 18 image boards made very simple by Procreate's ability to import all these rich images and arrange them on the page so we could quickly prepare for our meetings. And freehand plan diagrams that tested the best way to lay out the program and orient the building on the site, taking advantage of layers to help us compare different schemes and explore new directions, sometimes inspired by mashups of those layers. And hand dimension plans made easy with our imported scale rulers and the ease of erasing and correcting with the Apple Pencil. And still zoom in to get the small details and zoom out to get the big strings of dimensions right. And all this leaving the calculations right on the sheet for reference later on. And of course construction details like these vertical sections taken through the walls and roof. And these are made much easier by the ability to quickly copy parts of a detail at work and then multiply them and start another detail using that same little bit and study a different way of detailing that section right next door on the same page. And even HVAC planning sketches made possible by the opacity controls that can ghost one layer in order to make proposed changes read more clearly against that background, like in the case of looking for alternate routes for this fresh air ducting into the main room of the house. And again, nothing beats the mobility of the iPad for making all these details seem to be easier than they would be in the real world. Like when we made these changes to the east elevation, cooked up quickly while I was on a plane and just hours before the window order had to be finalized. And all of this, again, made possible by the mobility and the online connectedness of the iPad. And perhaps the best proof that Procreate is not a toy are these photos of the house itself, now almost finished, designed, drafted, and rendered in Procreate. And all of these drawings exported to the architect of record where they were finished in Revit, as one would normally finish off the design development and construction documents. Developing these techniques and successfully using them to do real work has allowed me to feel the freedom of working from anywhere, so long as I had my iPad with me, have more fun designing and drafting with a pencil than I've had in years, discover new sources of inspiration made possible by these unique tools and techniques inside Procreate, and feel confident that the Apple Pencil has made my drawing talents relevant again. And now I have the satisfaction that comes with teaching others to benefit from the same techniques. And I'm not just kidding when I say I know Procreate can do the same for you. Okay, I said it would be controversial for some of you, so let me have it in the comments below. Otherwise, check out the usual links in the description below. And I think for your next couple of videos, try either this one or this one.